Secrets hidden in plain sight. Inside the Royal Ontario Museum. My name is Kenton Vaughn. I directed the uh, Museum Secrets episode on the Royal Ontario Museum. And what I want to talk about today specifically is the story we did on the uh, crossbow from the uh, 16th century. We take our best shot at revealing a secret from the Middle Ages. Marksman Andre Reed is ready with a gun. All we need now is a crossbow. This is the Arms and Armor Gallery at the ROM. In the last big expansion of the ROM, the crossbows were ones that were removed uh, from the gallery. So you can't actually see this crossbow in the gallery. Uh, Corey Keeble has been the curator at the ROM for decades, and he's probably one of the most colorful, articulate, and enthusiastic curators that uh, you could work with. I mean, he looks like Santa Claus, and he has the personality of Santa Claus. It's kind of ironic that his specialty is weapons and the things that kill. Because, of course, these things are uh, hundreds of years old. You can't actually take it out and use it, see if it still works, because these are priceless artifacts. So this is the crossbow taken out of uh, storage. Um, they're kept in plastic bags to protect them from, from insects that would eat the, all the organic material. And in this scene, what we're doing is the Royal Ontario Museum has a new high-technology x-ray machine which can look inside of objects. And uh, this crossbow has never been put through that x-ray machine. And then what we wanted to do is make a new crossbow using the same specs. So we went to uh, Chris Warlow, who is a, a prop master here in Toronto. We took uh, a lot of the specs, articles that have been written on the crossbow, provided them to Chris. In consultation with Corey Keeble, uh, they came up with a plan of how to make the crossbow. Uh, the, the actual spanning of the bow, the functioning of the bow, it's the principle of the thing, as they say. <laughs> exactly, okay, exactly. Great. And this is the result. We went to a firing range where we would do a comparison. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, wow. Good morning. Good morning. This is absolutely fabulous. Excellent. I'm glad you approved. <laughs> oh, very much so. If it's not fun, it's not worth doing. This is, I, this is the treat. I am very oh. much looking forward to see whether or not this crossbow will put that bolt through our, our suit of armor. And the slow motion has been shot with a phantom camera, which is an amazing thing to work with. It shows you the uh, power of the musket in the, in the kickback. The watermelon is the same consistency as a human head, theoretically. But it also makes for really, really cool footage when you use a high-speed camera and slow the footage down. We went through all this effort to bring the marksman and the maker of the crossbow together and do all these tests, but then what we actually discovered was that it made more sense to use somebody who was an experienced shooting both, and that was a far better test of both weapons. And the irony is that even though Corey Keeble has studied these weapons for decades and decades, he's never ever in his life shot a crossbow or a musket. And, you know, sort of at the sunset of his career, he finally gets to do it. What a wonderful feeling. I know that he, you know, phoned his boss the next day and said it was the happiest day of his life, getting to try out these weapons. Many more wonders lie here, in these halls and galleries, asking us to see beyond the glass, challenging us to take a second, closer look. And if we're patient, or just lucky, discover another extraordinary museum secret.